so unfortunately in our career, uh, we see a lot of the bad stuff, um, a lot of bad outcomes, and it's most of the time if we if there is a good outcome of something, we don't really know about it. So being able to really see the whole picture and, and you know everything come full circle was uh, was very important. You know, like I said, we don't get to see that all the time, so it was it was pretty awesome. Myself, I have a one year old at home, so it really hit home having that whole call pan out. So the energy right after the call was very low, but understanding that you know Grayson was a strong little boy um, definitely brought up the the energy and the hopes of the better outcome and seeing him walking around and everything at home was was just um, miraculous per se yeah. automatically we were invested um, you couldn't just look at him laying there needing help and not feel tugged in some way whether he reminded you of a nephew or your own son following his journey um, having the relationship we have with aeromed and being able to follow up with that crew and to know that he had made it to tampa and that he was now in the fight of his life to make it through you know all of the updates that we would get from his family and the willingness of his family to give us that update um, his parents were just so willing to give us that feedback, um, something that we don't get very often, um, something that we don't get to hear. You know, we bring patients to the hospital, but we don't always get to hear the outcome. And so to see a different Grayson just a few weeks later, walking and talking and excited to see us, I mean, you can't, you can't put a measurement on that. You can't say how that makes you feel other than thankful and blessed and to be able to witness such a miracle and see one of his family. It was something that I had never experienced and I couldn't, I can't really explain it into words, but what I can say is whenever you have a call like that, our, our men and women who treat uh, our patients and uh, specifically children, we invest a piece of ourself into that child to have a positive outcome and to see this beautiful little boy with this beautiful spirit and his joy and his happiness there, um, it filled a, a void that is all too often never able to be filled. And so we went back to the station and you know we were having a rough point. Um, our fears and our thoughts and our worries were, were taking over us because as I said, we had invested ourselves into him and we were praying for him. The, we, I called the chaplain before I even got on scene because I knew that our guys and girls were gonna be in pain. Between prison, jail, road, this is the hardest call I've ever had in my career. Did he cry call? Did he? So, well, I You did a great job. Thank you. Well, what, yeah. here, Sam, if you didn't do what you did, did in that moment, and it doesn't happen often, so you started the whole chain of events with the other drugs. Yeah, it's empty. I get this Two words that pop in my head about this whole situation with Mr. Little Grayson is closure and purpose. The closure part of the whole process is our men and women that go to these calls each and every day, they don't see, they see the families when they're in their worst of times. They never get to see the family when they're in their best of times. And with Little Grayson, they saw him on the edge of not being on this earth anymore. And to be able to see him up and running around and his smile on his face, the, the family's overwhelming of joy and gratefulness to, of, for the hard work that they do, our EMS and firefighters do every day, it, it brings closure to our guys. It brings, you know, it brings purpose, the next word. It means they're d d making a difference. They don't get that. They don't get, this job is not a job that you get a pat on your back every day. They don't get the, the rewards of some jobs do. They just get, wake up each morning and go do what they're called to do. We just can't tell you enough, like this is such a blessing to us that we're able to see such a miracles and it's, we're just so 
Prince will even be a part of this for it, Chucks. I, I can't. Sure you guys have to look less than you are to, uh, to our family. That's good. I mean, the amount of times we were told, like, everything that needed to happen was done correctly. Like, he wouldn't be here if that had to happen. Well, it's, yeah, you guys, you guys help you guys take a chance at being bad, and that's, you know, it's just you're here. I just need it. I not had a hand on this one. Well, I can assure you that everyone is in the right place at the right time. Sure. Uh, Grayson, you know, I, I really hope you have a, a great, a great life. Everybody on that call helped you to be where you're at today and where you're going to continue to go in your future. And I hope you have a wonderful future.